In this quick video, you will learn how to replace the battery in a Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross key fob. Um, there are a couple versions of this device. I have two of them right here. Um, there's also one that looks just like this, but it doesn't have that trunk button. So it's just a two button key fob. Uh, the process to open these up there, it's the same for all of them and they all take the same battery as well. So the only things you will need are a CR2032 battery, uh, which you can get online. And I will put a link down in the description that will take you over to Amazon. So you can check the price on these or pick them up if you are interested. And uh, you will also need a small screwdriver, a small Phillips head screwdriver, uh, the correct size to remove this little screw right here. So um, if you don't have something this small, I would recommend this set that I personally use. It uh, has a couple different sizes uh, of flat and Phillips head. And I'll put a link for that in the description as well. It is just a couple bucks on Amazon. So opening the device is very easy. We will start by removing this screw in the back. Just go ahead and pull that out and set it to the side. And from here, you can just try to work it open with your fingers. Um, and if that is, especially coming in the corner, you can get kind of a better, uh, better pull on it by going in there. You could also just take a flathead screwdriver if it is kind of feeling stuck for you, take a flathead and go in this corner and just try to give it a little twist until it comes open. And there we go. We have access to the battery now. Um, if you have a keychain key ring, it might fall off. It's going to be on this little post. It's okay. We'll put that back on at the end. For now, we're just going to come over here to the battery and use you can use the uh, precision screwdriver. You can use a regular flathead, whatever you have. We're going to come into this corner right up here and just pry the battery up and out. Comes out very easily, as you saw. There it is, that's a CR2032. So go ahead and dispose of your old battery and take your new 2032. And we want to be putting this in positive side down. So that battery information, that text should be facing down. And we will just simply push it into place so that it sits in there securely. And now we can put it all back together. So if you have that key ring, go ahead and grab that, take the front or the top of the device, and just drop that on the post there. And if it's like a keychain and it's long, you might wanna set this down and then put it so it doesn't fall off like that. And then take your other uh, side of the device and just sit it back on there. And once you squeeze it together, it will be nice and secure. Just make sure everything is all lined up. And then all we need to do is put this screw back in there and tighten it up. There we go. Super simple. I hope that was helpful for you. Um, hope it saved you a couple bucks. And uh, you can always, if you, if you like this video, I really appreciate if you told me in the comments so we can get your feedback or you could just give this video a like. Um, and if you ever need help with another one of your key fobs, you can remember to come back to this channel. We have you covered with tutorials just like this one for the devices for almost every make and model out there. And you can also get all this information and more over at our website, fobbattery.com.